Hey everyone, welcome back to Today India Career Pulse. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Cognizant Technical Assessment for the 2026 Hiring Drive. Many of you have already completed the aptitude round and are waiting for updates. So let's break down the exam pattern and important details you need to know. First of all, Cognizant has divided the technical assessment into three clusters. Cluster 1 is Java cluster. You will get two coding questions where you must solve using Java. And the next cluster is Python cluster. You will get two coding questions. Python is the only allowed language here. And the third cluster is C sharp. Again, two coding questions, but this time also you need to solve in C sharp. Along with coding, there are additional options in Java cluster to SQL plus one web based task. In Python, you will get two SQL questions plus 10 cloud based MCQs. In C sharp cluster, two SQL plus one web based task. If you don't select a cluster, Java is assigned by default, so most candidates will land in the Java cluster. And cluster allotment will purely depend on Cognizant team. Each cluster gives two coding problems. Uh, one will be easy and the second is medium level. The problems usually involve string numbers and basic mathematical operations. So don't expect heavy data structures and algorithms. It's more about logical problem solving and implementing correct code within time. SQL is mandatory for all clusters and carries good weightage. You will get two SQL questions. Difficulty is mostly easy to medium. You may see multiple tables with primary, foreign keys, but the queries won't be very tough. Practicing around 50 to 60 SQL queries is more than enough to crack this part. Along with this, in clusters like Java and C Sharp, you will also face a web development based task. For example, they may give you a partially built digital clock in HTML, CSS and JavaScript where the Howard's part is done and you just need to implement the minute functionalities. You don't need to complete 100%, even solving 40-50% to of the requirement will fetch you a good marks. If you are in Python cluster, expect 10 multiple choice questions on cloud concepts. These are theoretical and straight forward if you have revised the basics. Java is default, so prepare at least some Java coding if you didn't select a cluster. SQL is very important, don't ignore it. Aim for two coding solutions to be on safe side. For web based, partial solutions still give marks. So that's the complete breakdown of Cognizant Technical Assessment for 2026 hiring. If you have received your assessment mail or already attempted the test, drop your experience in the comments. It will help others too. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to Today India Career Pulse for more such updates on placements and career opportunities.